Uh, we understand the Wutu Senya East constituency. Uh, Rosina Foster is there. Rosina, can you hear me? Now, uh, we understand there's been a, another shooting incident. Hello, Rosina, can you hear me? Rosina Foster is at Kasua, in fact, in the Ewutu Senya East constituency. Uh, that's the Kasua polling station there. Rosina, if you can hear me, good evening to you. Can you confirm that there's been another shooting incident there? Yes, um, Alfred, I can hear you. And um, there's been another shooting incident at um, Ewutu Senya West constituency. The first one happened at Ewutu Senya East. This one took place at Ewutu Senya West, precisely at one of the police stations at Obrache. This is also located in the Ewutu Senya West constituency. We understand that around 5 p.m. when... Um, Counting of the ballot was about to start. A gentleman on a motorbike came into one of the police stations in an attempt to snatch um, the polling um, the box from the EC officials. The police officer on duty fired a gunshot, which led to his death at the police station. So his body has been transferred to the Winneba Government Hospital. I that see. is what we know that now. So, uh, uh, this person who sustained the gunshot wound, we understand, has died? Yes, he died instantly at the police instantly. station. He came in on a motorbike in an attempt to snatch away the ballot box. He was gunned down by the police officer on duty. And uh, what's, what's the situation now at, at that particular polling station after this incident? There are a lot of military personnel around. These two constituencies, Ewutu Senya East and Ewutu Senya West, because of the incident that happened in the afternoon at the Step to Christ police station. So they build up security over there. We have a lot of military personnel around now. Because of the counting, we, they were anticipating a lot of these issues happening. And you know, this area is um, kind of a, a rural, they have a lot of rural areas around this place. So mm. there are lots of incidents of tags, um, land tax, and everything. So they had to come in with a lot of the security officials to beef up security. This is how come they were able to contain the situation at Obrache when the gentleman came in in an attempt to snatch a the ballot box. We I understand it was um, Mm. I see. Now, uh, Rosina, I know that you've been to the Usu Senya East constituency as well, where the earlier incident happened. Before you left the place, how are the people uh, reacting to this, especially the residents and the voters who had wanted to come and observe the process of counting in that particular area? You know, when the incident happened, they had a number of military personnel de deployed to many parts of the constituency. So it brought a bit of calm to the areas. They never had the confidence. They came in back to vote and everything. So everything is calm over here now. People are even wary of their comments and everything because of the presence of these security officials. They brought in a lot of these military people. So it's it's it put some fear in some of these individuals who would want to foment trouble. Mm. Both voting has gone on smoothly after the incident and counting has begun. We are currently closer to the police uh, coalition um, center at Ewutu Senya East. But right. most of the police stations have finished counting their um, ballot papers and people have started jubilating, but also in, um, uh, in a measured attempt not to foment trouble. Mm. Because they are afraid of what the police persons will do if they try to do anything that is contrary to what their loss is. Rosina, I appreciate your time and this update. Thank you very much. Rosina Foster, just giving details of that breaking news just coming through another shooting incident in the, this time around, Ewutu Senya West constituency.